and tired of our government using safety as a reason to trample our rights. Period. Well, Michael Hoffman is a self-proclaimed activist. He's passionate and he's outraged over this equipment the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office has that can track your cell phone, known as the Stingray and Kingfish systems. This device allows law enforcement or whoever has this device to access any cell phone data and within its range, whatever that range may be. That includes your emails, your personal photos, your browsing history, your contacts, anything you do on that device. According to an analysis by Ars Technica, the system can be used to intercept calls in real time, but requires a software upgrade from the base model. Thursday, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office provided Hoffman with these documents, which he requested under the Freedom of Information Act. I wasn't expecting a response or a response that just said, look, we don't have any information, or, or if we did, that that's confidential, we deem it classified, you can't have it. Woke up today, checked my email, and lo and behold, I have the documents. Purchase orders show the city of Jacksonville bought a Stingray Kingfish tracking system for cell phone frequencies from Florida-based Harris Corporation for nearly $200,000 in 2007 for the Sheriff's Office. And the following year, almost the same amount for another Stingray Kingfish tracking system. Most of it paid for with your federal tax dollars through a Department of Justice grant. Fourth of July weekend, you know, we are celebrating our freedom and we're not free. Sheriff John Rutherford wrote in 2007 that the cellular tracking technology can pinpoint a cell phone's physical location inside of buildings or other areas inaccessible by a vehicle provide virtually 100% coverage of all cellular providers. Lori Ellen Smith of the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office provided this response, quote, the equipment we have is obsolete and no longer in use. It hasn't been used for five plus years. Beyond that, we don't comment tactically, but know that we follow the law on every case we pursue utilizing technology. When asked if that means JSO is no longer using any type of cell phone tracking technology on citizens in Jacksonville, Smith responded, quote, our statement stands on its own. The public needs to be aware. Until we get enough people on the same page and seeing the truth, nothing is going to change. Again, they're going to spend this. They're going to say it's about safety. It's a good thing. It's good for us. We need to wake up. We're getting our liberties taken away every day for excuses. Okay? There's a way to achieve the goals that they say and not trample our rights.